Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about power amplifiers. There are many classifications in power amplifiers. The classification is based upon their efficiency. The efficiency of the power amplifier is defined as the the ratio of which the input DC power is converted into output AC power. According to these classifications there are many many categories class a class b class a b class c class d class f etc today we are going to discuss and analyze class a power amplifier on your screen we can see a uh, circuit it is a bjt based class a power amplifier uh, let me tell you few characteristics of the class a power amplifier output of a class a power amplifier is inverted and ampli amplified version of input signal uh, class a power amplifier conducts 360 degrees of input signal there are no distortions in class a power amplifier the only disadvantage of class a power amplifier is its efficiency the maximum theoretical efficiency of class a power amplifier is 25% on screen, you can see a circuit. It is a BJT, BJT based class A power amplifier. Uh, in the circuit, uh, we used voltage divider biased circuit. This circuit uh, makes the BJT device to stay in saturation region. Uh, To understand the operation of any type of amplifier, it is very important to analyze uh, analyze the load line analysis. In this uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how the AC load line is drawn, how the, what are what are the fun importance of the AC load line, and how we are going to use this kind of analysis to design a perfect circuit. Here on the screen, if you observe the AC load line in class A amplifier, it is very important we have to choose the operating point at the center of the AC load line because as we can see, the output signal swings and it uses entire the load line. That means the positive peak and the negative peak of the output signal occupies the entire area of the load line almost entire area of the load line so it is very important to choose the operating point at the center of the load line the vertical intersection point is called saturation current point and the horizontal intersection point is called cutoff voltage point if the operating point moves towards the saturation current point the top of the output signal is clipped off in the same way when the operating point moves towards the cutoff voltage point the bottom of the output signal signal will get cut off so it is very important to maintain the operating point at the center of the load line now let us analyze the circuit as i said before to uh, to understand the proper working or proper operation of any kind of amplifier circuit it is very important to understand the uh, equivalent circuit here on the screen i am showing you it, uh, the ac equivalent circuit of the power amplifier uh, as it is an AK, uh, ac equivalent circuit all the parameters that are present inside the in, in, in the circuit are ac equivalent parameters for example at, uh, uh, we know uh, BJT has three terminals, emitter terminal, collector terminal, base terminal. The resistance, the AC resistance present at the emitter terminal called AC equivalent emitter resistance. In the same way, the uh, resistance present at the collector terminal is called AC equivalent collector resistance. We all know that AC resistance is very different from DC resistance. To analyze, to analyze the circuit in terms of AC equivalent circuit, we have we are we should ground the DC source, and uh, we have to assume that all the capacitors are short circuited. As we can see, if we apply Kirchhoff voltage law in the circuit, we can able to derive an equation for collector current. In the circuit, if we consider this loop collector current is equal to emitter current 
So if we apply Kirchhoff voltage law, we can able to derive the collector current equation. So here collector current is equal to voltage across the collector and emitter terminal divided by AC equivalent res uh, resistance of emitter plus AC equivalent resistance of collector terminal. So uh, it is also very important to consider the DC elements while uh, analyzing the load line. So the total current will be equal to uh, AC equivalent current plus DC equivalent current. So the total current in, in the loop is equal to AC equivalent collector current plus DC equivalent collector current. In the same way, voltages, total voltage equal to AC equivalent voltage, uh, voltage plus DC equivalent voltage. If we substitute equation two and equation three in equation one, we can able to achieve this equation. In this equation, if we rearrange the terms, we can able to uh, get the uh, get this equation in the form of straight line y is equal to m x plus c. Here y is y intercept y intercept is saturation as a current current intercept and here x intercept is voltage axis so if you need to find the saturation current we need to calculate find the vert vertical intercept and in the same way if we need to find the horizontal In the same way, if we need to find the cutoff voltage point, we need to find the vertical intercept point. So we can able to achieve vertical intercept and horizontal intercept points. So we need to join both the points. And here from this equation, we, are, we get that slope is equal to negative inverse of uh, some of the resist equivalent AC resistance of emitter and collector terminals. In order to analyze, in order to find efficiency, we need to do some simplifications. Here, the voltage, the maximum peak uh, output current signal it can be achieved till IC EQ point. So, from from so if we observe the peak output voltage the difference between the peak output voltage and the saturation current point is very less so it is safe to assume that ic max i i mean the saturation current ic max is equal to two times multiplied by i uh, dc equivalent current in the same way the voltage signal that uh, that can be delivered at the output side is approximately equal to the voltage cutoff point. So it is safe to assume that voltage, maximum voltage that can be achieved is equal to two times of the DC equivalent collector voltage. So by considering these two simple simplifications, we can able to find the efficiency of this power amplifier. As we all discussed that efficiency, the definition of the efficiency is the ratio between the output AC power with the uh, input DC power. So we all know that the formula for output AC power is equal to VRMS multiplied with IRMS. So in the same way, we substitute the equations which we, der uh, which we derived in the last slide. We can able to see that the efficiency that we can achieve is 25%. As we can see in the circuit, in this, in this diagram, as we can see, if we observe this operating point, at this operating point, the output signal is zero. So if we observe this operating point, Even though the output signal is almost zero, the input, the input current and input voltage are not equal to zero. So even if the output signal is approximately equal to zero, 
the in uh, the circuit is consuming certain amount of power and that power will be equal to half of the input dc voltage and half of the input dc current so when uh, when the swing when the output swing crosses the point at uh, operating point ex uh, then the uh, circuit even though the our output is zero the circuit consumes half of the input power so the efficiency is very low if we consider this point if we consider this point and we uh, examine the original circuit even though at operating point exactly at the operating point the output uh, signal is zero the the circuit consume, consumes half of the input power or input voltage so if the output is zero that means here the voltage uh, here vcq is equal is equal to half of the input voltage so here vc vcq is equal to half of the input voltage that means the half of the input voltage has been uh, consumed by this resistor so to increase this kind of efficiency there is a technique we introduce a transformer in this position as we all know that that uh, the input resistance of a transformer is nearly negligible is very low so here comes the transformer coupled class a power amplifier so here if we replace the collector resistance with the transformer as we all know that the resistance of the input terminal is nearly negligible the the power consumed by that uh, part is nearly equal to zero so whatever the voltage you applied here the same amount of voltage can be shown at the uh, vce point so there is no loss so if we consider v at this point vcc equal to vceq the there is no voltage drop in this transformer part or in this uh, there is no resistance in this transformer part if we substitute these vcc equal to vcq in the above equations we can able to achieve nearly 50% efficiency that's how by uh, by introducing the transformer in the place of collector uh, resistance we are, we can able to increase the uh, class a power amplifier's efficiency from 25% to 50% although these calculations are just theoretical calculations in practical values we can able to achieve nearly 40, 45 to 47% thank you for watching this video